it's your friend Kelly Dale. I have a physical bead store in Forest City, North Carolina. I've got a website called offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com and I've been here on YouTube for about 11 years. I'm so glad you joined me today. You are in for a big treat because today I'm actually having a conversation with Glenda from Beads Gone Wild. Glenda has come up with a wonderful new tool that is great for you beaters who love to do big projects with lots of colors of beads. I think you are really going to enjoy Glenda's uh, conversation and her demoing this new tool. Um, make sure to pay attention because there is a coupon code. Um, we are going to put it at the beginning and at the end of this video so that you can see that coupon code and um, get any goodies that Glenda has promised us. So guys, enjoy and thank you so much. All right, so I'm here today with Glenda from Beads Gone Wild. So Glenda, can you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us about yourself? Oh my gosh, that's a big uh, chunk of... <laughs> I've been in the business like 32 years. I'm here in West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, I started when beading, well, I really, I started my shop when it was, um, it was like 800 square foot shop and it was metaphysical. And the only reason we had beads is because they were made of stone. Okay. And so with the stones and we had like, uh, we sold tarot cards and incense and, uh, it was pretty, you know, but I also did gold and silver repair and diamond setting uh -huh. <laughs> and lapidary work. So it was a really, but it was a very small shop, but we did so much stuff. Right. And right. then, you know, but the only beading we really did was stringing, pearl knotting and uh, earrings. Okay. So, and I didn't know anything about beading when I started. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, we had a few little classes. After about five years, I moved to a different location because they were going to tear the building down. And it was like on Saturday, we closed up and moved. And Sunday, we went into the new place. And by Monday morning, that's when the, we opened the doors. And it was so crazy because that's when all those Swarovski bracelets with the, you know, 44 crystals on the stretchy elastic. And everybody was, the phone was ringing all day long. Do you have those? Do you have those? And I feel like ever since then, until this pandemic hit, we have not stopped. We've never really got caught up on anything that we're trying to do. It's just been one thing and another thing and another thing. So it's been pretty wild. Um, but over the years, you know, I remember like when I moved into this shop, I wanted to learn as much as I could about different um, beading. So I sat down and made a list. And I, I got all my books out and I sat down and I said, okay, what am I going to learn? And I, you know, I put peyote, flat peyote, tubular peyote around, and all these things, I didn't know anything. Mm -hmm. So I set about learning it all and then announced that I'm teaching 75 different classes. Oh, my. Oh <laughs> and that was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it was, it was pretty fun. And I was pretty self-taught, but then we started getting in the guest teachers and I got to learn from so many fabulous people mm -hmm. that that's where I'm really thankful. And I saw that, you know, you have like 235,000 subscribers, which is unbelievable. Uh -huh. And your videos, which are so great. You've helped so many people that I just, I just wanted to thank you because so many of my customers are always saying how much they love you and they love what you do and they love learning from you. And so it's, it's been a fun ride. So thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you, so you're, the name of your store literally beads gone wild <laughs> after that first week it went wild. So you, um, you have been busy ever since it seems yes. like. <laughs> well, when we started the original store name was Crystal Creations. Uh -huh. And, you know, in, in around 2008, when I was in this new uh, place, uh, we had expanded. Then we had a classroom which had 12 people. And then we had another classroom. We expanded again. And there was like room for 20 people. And I was talking to a marketer and she said, uh, 
you know, I said, I, I need to do something here. And, you know, and I, there was a bead in my shoe. I was taking it out. And then it was taken, there was a bead in my pocket. And I said, it's just really like these beads have gone wild. Uh-huh. And I was like, I love it. I love it, love it. And that's what I want to call myself. But because we had been crystal creations for about 20 years, I couldn't really let that go. So she had the idea that Crystal Creations Bead Institute would be the Florida location. And the Beads Gone Wild would be the name of our website or the brand of our kids. So, but you know, I have personality disorder now. <laughs> Beads Gone Wild, Crystal Creations, people call up, who are you? You know, I don't know. But that's, I, I love that name. I didn't know about Girls Gone Wild. And, you know, people, people all came in and said, are you like girls gone wild? And I'm like, what's that? And had I known, I might not have done it, but here we are. <laughs> so, oh, if yeah. you were in New Orleans, you could just throw beads out to people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love uh, it. I love it. I love it. So how long total have you had your business? I started in 1990. Okay. And, yeah, and that was out of my house doing um, gold and silver repair. I, I wanted to wrap some crystals and I went to some guy to buy some wire and he's like, you don't even know what you're doing. And I said, well, what should I do? He said, go to the jewelry school. So that's when I went to learn how to solder gold and silver, how to set diamonds, how to do casting, which was all way more than I you know, not beading or wire wrapping. Uh -huh. So that's when the, the first store, when I opened, I had the goldsmithing, lapidary and all that stuff. But the beads just, uh, now there's, you know, only beads here, beads, beading and small beading. And I just love all of it. So, Sarah. So, I, so because this is the first time that you and I have ever met face to face and had a conversation. Yeah. Um, because I want others to know this as well. You have some amazing kits on your website and it seems to me you are more, uh, you love your seed beads as much as I do. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool deal. I, I, I love, love the fact that you can construct with them. Uh, but one other funny little thing I want to tell you is when we used to have guest teachers, I was cleaning up the other day a little bit. And I found a brochure from a lady that had like, a, she was a guest teacher in like 1998 that was offering, you know, her classes. And I looked at it and the class that was being offered by this guest teacher was peyote tubes, little peyote tubes strung up on a bracelet. People do have no idea how far we've come from those beginning days. I know, I know. Yeah. Well, and, and I started beating in, I can't remember if it was 99 or 2000 is when I started. And um, when I look back, even from old magazines, like old beading buttons, <laughs> old step-by-step -step jewelry, I'm like, we used to make, like, that's what we thought was amazing back then. <laughs> We We've have come, come so far. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I always feel like, man, uh, people who get into beating now um, at this point have so many options that yes. we did not have. I mean, you either had a bead with a hole in it or you had seed beads and that was about it. I mean, there wasn't all this amazing two hole stuff that we have now or these, oh, no. mm -hmm. all these new crystals and all these new sizes of things. And I'm like, man, People just, they are walking into a jackpot and they don't even know yeah. it. So, <laughs> oh, well, but we're here today because I will tell you how I found out about your bead easy beading system. Um, okay. I was uh, scrolling through my uh, Facebook group the other week and a lady had done a pair of earrings. I had just done a video on, on YouTube and she was like, I flew on a plane and I used the bead easy system and I made your earrings and it works perfect. And so I was like, what is that? I need to know about this. So I got on your website. I ordered the um, travel system because me personally, I am on the go a lot. Yeah, I take my beads home a lot back and forth to work on. So 
this little guy right here has changed my life. Like, really? no lie. It has, I have worked with this little thing for a couple of weeks now and I love it. Love it. So tell me about your system and I would love to know from you why you designed, why you felt we needed this system. Okay. Uh, it seems as though like all of my kits and patterns and instructions, I must have been working with three or four beads or whatever, mm -hmm. not really into the peyote patterns that much, but, you know, crystals, seed beads, 1508, whatever. Right. So one day, I think it was like in the beginning of the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, my friends and I were like, we need to do a loom. We need to do a loom. So we all bought our little looms. And I picked out, we found a pattern. I think it was Starry Night, a uh, bead weaving brace. I had 25 colors. <laughs> and we're all sitting here at the shop. there you <laughs> We're all at the shop and we have our loom and we all poured out our, you know, colors and we put the little stickers there. And, but, you know, working with the loom and my sleeve kept messing up the colors and they were under there. And, oh, and I was like, man, this is absolutely crazy. And uh, my friend who was a worker in the shop, she's like, well, you can buy those, you know, boards where you put, I said, what do you, what kind of, she's, so she's showing me on the website, you know, different things. And I said, yeah, but those are all very restricted. I mean, I just, in that point, could not imagine having the loom and then having another big apparatus there with the beads mm -hmm. and especially at this time my eyes were not so good well I just got cataract surgery thank god but about you know then I, I couldn't see up really you know really well and so I just couldn't even imagine like reaching over there to pick up letter a bead or pb and of course in ours at that time they were done with the color numbers uh -huh. so we didn't even hit so I said you know there's a problem with that yeah a it's too restrictive and, and then I just started saying, I said, you know, we need little cups that can hold the beads. Yep. And then I said, it needs to be on a board and it needs to be magnetic so they won't fall off. Mm -hmm. And then I just, I just went home and I really started thinking about what would be all the things that would make it absolutely wonderful. And I said, easy cleanup, because we, we were here at the store and I had those 25 colors and now I had to take them home and it was on a soft mat and they were getting all mixed up and I was like oh my and I have the loom still at home with about this much done I never finished it <laughs> oh my goodness oh and I know where the beads are now but I I'll get back to it now that I have the beadies but that was the thing I said it needs to be cups they need to be movable they need to be just the right size and shape and we, it was originally intended for those bigger projects mm -hmm. where you would have 25, 35, you know, 60 colors yeah. to, to manage it. And my, my whole intention there was that if they could be managed, you could pick out your beads, you could pick it up and carry it to the kitchen table if you wanted, you could come back home or, you know, move, move it up off your bead table so you could work on something else. Yeah. without having to pack it all up. But if you did have to pack it up, it'd be very easy. So those were my conditions. And then I just sat home and started um, finding anything I could to make little prototypes and gluing magnets on the bottom and trying to find boards. And it was pretty fun. <laughs> 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 but, you know, I, I make miniatures, so I'm kind of used to making, you know, little things. So it, it was really nice. And then I just kept thinking about it. And I said, this is revolutionary. Mm -hmm. Because when I started to study it and said, am I sure there's none on the market? You know, I said, there must be something like this. And I started looking and started looking. And everything was just more of the same bigger holes, more holes, more patterns. I mean, more boards, shorter boards, smaller boards, bigger boards, but everything was uh, boards with the hole in the middle or mats with the hole in the middle. And I just wanted something flexible. 
flexible. Yeah. Well, so we're talking probably what a year, two years from idea to conception. I think it's yeah. Well, yeah, about yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Well, and, and the that, hardest thing was the manufacturing of it and finding the, you know, what material and uh, some people when I they, you know, somebody didn't buy it. And I said, why don't you like it? And she said, well, I wish it had a fabric on the bottom mm -hmm. of the little cups. And I said, no, that's what I thought. So originally too, and I was, you know, it's going to have a fabric on the bottom, like a mat or a chenille stitch or something. And when it came down to trying it, I bought like 15 different fabrics, tried all different types glued them in. I didn't like the way they sat. They didn't look, but because of the angle of the needle, you were always stabbing into the fabric. It's not like working on a mat. Right. So it was totally, I said, no, this is absolutely not going to work. I almost got a little discouraged because I couldn't find a fabric. And I, I was talking to somebody and I had the sticker that was going to go in the bottom of the cup. And I just said, I wonder if this would work. Mm -hmm. And it was a glossy one, but I put it in and I said, I really think this could work, but not glossy. It's a, so then I got on the phone and started calling all the sticker places, send me samples of every type of sticker material you have so that I could find the exact one that had just the right amount of uh, slide to it. Right. Because what was in my mind was years and years and years ago, we, you know, we used to speed on those ceramic tiles. Yep. And, you know, that was impossible because it was so slippery. Mm -hmm. The beads would slip out. You couldn't pick up anything, you know, and right. I, so my head was kind of like, it can't be glossy, but because these are small, because the, they have the edges, you can have a nice uh, satiny sort of finish in there and it works just great. Yeah. So, well, and I will tell you one of the things that I love about this so, okay, first, let me grab, let me grab this really quick. So for those of you who have no idea, when you purchase, I'm trying to find my little mat. I don't know what, where it's going off to, but when you purchase the system, you get a bead board. Now this one's bigger. Okay. This one's bigger. Uh, it's the smaller one that comes with the system. But um, with this, the thing that I personally love as somebody who travels with mine a ton, um, <clears throat> I don't personally pick them up out of the cup. What I yeah. love about the system is I can take the cup, I can pour out just a little exactly where I want it, and then put the cup back and everything. I mean, it's there. It's, it's, yeah. you know, it's not moving. And that's what I love about it. And um, I will tell you this little scoop right here, <laughs> you guys. If nothing else, buy it for this. This is the coolest thing. I love picking up my little beads and scooping them out. But I mean, between that and having this to be able to pour everything back into, to put it in, I mean, you really have thought of everything that you need. I mean, even down to the little magnet to hold your- Yes, mouth. everybody loves that magnet. <laughs> yes, because I was like- oh. I'm not really going to use that. And boy, how you can see I have used that. I mean, it's amazing. Um, so what I would love to know from you before you demo and show us all the goodies about this, um, why would we, well, I know me personally why I would, but tell me why as a beater, I would want your system over somebody else's system. Uh, well. <laughs> Knock you the hard one. <laughs> Like what makes well, it different? Why would why would I want yours? What makes yours? Yeah. A, you can separate the colors, so there's no bead soup. Now, as I said, we originally made it so that it would be for multiple, you know, sixty colors, fifty, twenty-five colors, whatever. But people are using it with three, four, five colors, no problem. They love it with the traveler, which is why you know we ended up making the traveler. Um, but first, you know, just being that you can pour out your beads and you're not going to get bead soup. Yeah. They are on a, a, a tray that can be moved from room to room, which I love, love, love. Yep. 
It's very easy to ID the beads. You can either use the little ABC letters mm -hmm. and I will show later, you can write, you can put a piece of paper under the mag magnets and put the color names. Mm -hmm. You can even just write color A, color B, accent, you know, however they're labeled in your kit is how you can uh, identify them with the set. Mm -hmm. uh, the needle magnet people love, and I'd put that in there because you're, when you stop to do like you're doing, pull the beads out, or if you have a big pattern and you want to pull out, you know, you're reading the pattern, you pull them all out. Uh, and and you, one by one by one, you pull them out and then you double check it and then you stitch it. Yep. Okay. So the magnet, you may not have a big mat, like we're kind of used to stabbing into a mat. So this way you can put your needle on the magnet so it doesn't get in your way. Um, the other thing that I love, 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 and this was because it's hard for me to see and I'm very, uh, what's the word, about, about time time and motion, you know? Mm -hmm. So I like being able that you can move those cups. If you're working with A, B, and C over here, but now you wanna work with D and F or whatever, you can move them close so you can get right in there and do it. And you don't, and you know, and that was, for me, the biggest thing, yeah. why would I want 26 holes if I'm only going to use six yeah. or, you know, and why do I want to reach way over there when I, I should be reaching here, you know, so just saving time. Um, easy cleanup was huge, huge, huge thing. Pick them up because, you know, I work on a lot of things all the time and I, I like most of them just bead soup piles everywhere around my house. And, um, uh, I wanted to be able to close one project and do the next one. So the scoop, I went through all kinds of troubles to get those scoops and they had to be that size. Yep. Mm -hmm. I want them that size. And the little spoon was also a big thing because when you are working with a big pattern with a lot of colors, you don't necessarily want a whole uh, big pile of beads wow. because it's not so easy to pick them out if it's too full. Yeah. Whoops. So there's a couple different things, you know, that, um, let's see, I think that was it. So that's, I mean, it's a fun system. It works. It saves time, but people love it because you can travel with it. You go up to the pool, you open it. I, I mean, and this is what some people have said that, uh, you go and you, you open it and you can bead and you close it and you could, you know, uh, before it used to be, you had to open your, thing, pour out all your beads. By the time you get set up, it's already, you know, 20, 30 minutes into it. And then you're like, uh, now it's time to clean up. So it's very good. Well, and another thing I will tell you, me personally, when you put this in the, the, I think, is it called the bead buddy? Is that the, the name of the tray? I can't remember. Yeah, um, it's, when, when you close it's the top down on your bead buddy, the cups give you enough tension between those that, I mean, literally you could fling it and your beads yeah. aren't going to go anywhere. But yeah. also for me as a very OCD person who cannot <laughs> stand, I have to have little piles and everything has to have its place on my mat. If not, it stresses me out. So it's wonderful that I can take just a couple of beads, use my little scoop or whatever, and have small little piles next to it if I want it and not have to stress out about That's them. a great idea. Yeah. 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 I, I will be the first one to tell you and it, the, my local people who know me, they laugh at me so hard because I go around like fixing people's stuff on their tray. Like if they have a question and I sit down, like I'm fixing people's stuff. So I'm like, we, we need, yeah. we need these in our lives. <laughs> so. Now that one, the one that you have there is with the little stainless steel, mm -hmm. which was the size that I really um, first had started thinking about but uh -huh. it was not so easy to get those steel things made right. um and then I found the low rain board which was or low ran I don't know how you say it but it was I couldn't beat the price mm -hmm. and it was really a good size for larger patterns mm -hmm. but the stainless steel ones well I'll tell you how I found well let me just get something here I was measuring how many fit on a, a board Mm -hmm. and I had this ruler 
Right. And I thought like, oh, these stick to the ruler. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> so I said, oh, maybe I should buy some rulers and we can just, you know, it's a little flimsy, but anyway, so they do yeah. stick to the ruler. Uh -huh. So I called this ruler company and I said, listen, can you make me some blank plates? Uh-huh. He said, yeah, they're, they're going to be stainless steel. It's a little expensive, but I like, I like good hardy, you know, equipment. Anyway, right. So it, it's good. So, but that's a really good size because then if we found it fits in the mini, mm -hmm. save and go. Yep. And um, it's just a perfect size. I was really lucky with both of those. Uh, but one fits in the, in the junior and the other one fits in the mini. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Well, and you are going to show us some tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff when using the board, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to flip us over to view your board. Okay. So this is the first way that I thought that maybe we would, you know, be able to carry if you had a lot of uh, beads is merely putting two boards on top of each other. Okay. So and this then, is the original you know, concept. Yeah, and just securing it with some of these Velcros. Mm -hmm. And this does not, this was just one way I thought, when people started asking me, do the cups have caps? Uh -huh. uh, you know, it was, I was like, no, because that will increase the cost, like triple. Right. It will take away the, the fact that you can fit so many on a board, like if you needed to. Look how pretty and, oh. I know. <laughs> and me and my friends, my workers and I, we, we agonized over these colors. So uh -huh. it's really exciting. And one of them is darker in case you're using white beads. That's so awesome. Can, yeah. So I didn't even notice that. That is the coolest thing. <laughs> <sighs> okay, sorry, continue. <laughs> we thought of everything. <laughs> so there's the bottom, the sticker, the magnet. Again, it was really important that the magnet have a certain amount of strength to it so that you could kind of push against it, but it would not be so hard that you'd flip your beads out when you picked them up. Right, right. So, so this was just showing you like you can fit maybe 60 colors on here, I guess. I don't that know. Anyway, so that's that. So that's that the was, bigger board? Yeah, that's the eight by 10 board. Okay. And... When you get the kit, the pro kit is usually this one, which has 20, has a little carrying bag. Which I love, I love. Cause you can <laughs> put all your little stuff in it and carry yeah. it, I love it. The letters and some numbers and a scoop, the little scoop, which I'll show you in a bit. The little shovel and it, came, it comes with 20 cups and the magnetic board. And then this, you know, so this is the board. Uh -huh. And this one does fit in the uh, mini, no, the junior save and go, which is okay. here. Yep. Uh -huh. And even though, again, you can, you can close these down so that nothing moves. Uh, you, I like to be doubly sure. So I, just got to remember which way you clip it. Wait, wait. You have to lift this up. Okay, there we go. So here, okay, a few beads escaped, but not too many. So here would be something that I'm working on. There's the needle and thread and the beads ready to go. And this is in the bigger, am I in the picture? Yeah, I guess so. Uh -huh. so that's it now one of the things I've talked about in the video is if you if you want to if you're stitching something like this and you have you know two a couple colors and you need to pick up more than one bead like and this is a Zulu chain and I need to pick up three beads uh -huh. so it would be like two of this oh, let me sit down so I can Like picking up two of these, you can just scoop in like this and you get, get quite a few beads. And this one was actually two of this and one of these. And then I would stitch it in. So when the cups are fuller, 
like this, it's easy to, you know, just skim it and pick them up. And you can use the edge to take away any ones you don't want. Okay. Gotcha. There's different ways. I always tell people just practice different ways, whether you want to stab in and go is not always the easiest, but just run, running it around here like that is the easiest. And if you really needed to pick up a lot of beads, you can always hold it in your hand and angle it a little bit like that. But again, what I liked about the, the board the most is that you can move things around. If I'm wanting to use this, if I want to use that. And here I know what the colors are, so I don't need to ID them, but I just do that. Right, right. And then you've uh, got that spot you can magnetize your, your needle back to. <laughs> And yes. you, you're ready to go, just close it all back up and you're good to go. So that's this one. And then let me get that little traveler guy. Where's he at? Well, oh, here it is. So this is the little traveler one. Yeah. And this is the one that I have and I love. Yeah. Yeah. So this one comes... Got to learn how to open these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only yep, thing I tell people: practice opening that first. So, so this is the one that's got the stainless steel four by eight plate. Again, the magnet, the shovel, the letters, and you know, again, the beads. So you can just start working right away when you come in. So one of the other things I told people is. Uh, if you want, well, I'll show you later. If you want to work with just a few beads, these are 11 O's. They're always a little more tricky to pick up. Mm -hmm. But you said like you were doing is just pouring a little out here. Yep. And then you could use them. Yes, it's a great idea. Yeah, I just, uh, as, as I was showing, you know, the way that I hold it, that was where the main five colors that I personally use, I just put a little next to each cap because there's mm -hmm. lots of systems on the market um, that have little cutouts or whatever. But like you say, like I was saying, I don't like the fact that I can't take, whereas I can take one of your little cups and pour out just a tiny bit on my mat or scoot yeah. this a little bit out. It's a little bit harder to do that when you have five colors in a container that are all mm. one container and not yeah. separated like these. And the one thing I find too is because they can move, like depending on your angles, like if you want to go here, you want to go there. It's, it's just nice that you can adjust your angle where, where the ones that are rigid you know, it, it's just, I think, hard to get into those spots myself. Right. But Okay, so then the, the, the way that we like to use it is, let me get this over. So, for example, this is, let's say, a kit. This was one of the flower kits. Oh, that makes my heart so happy. <laughs> so organized yeah. <laughs> and when I you know when you open the kit you're going to have your colors uh-huh and I already put in 201 here and then this is going to be 625 now I read on Facebook you know sometimes people say they don't like to use the uh, uh, delicate color numbers because it's too hard and I'm like it, I don't know why it's hard you know not if you have a system like this Right, and right. I put, put them all in alphabetical or numerical order. But I don't want to pour from the here because sometimes, you know, you have holes in the bag or things that's, and this could make beads kind of fall all around. And a lot of the kits, you know, you need just exactly what they put in there, even though ours, we always put a lot extra, but not always. So this way you can put just a little bit in there. Mm -hmm. And once you have the little bit in everything, then you're going to take your pattern. And what I'll do is, I, I guess, see where the camera's doing. Okay. So I would start, let's say, with this row one. It's like two DB1. And I'll pick out two beads and lay them here. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. 
And then it's like two of number 625. So I would take two of those. And I'm just reading the chart across. And I would lay them all out. I would count them and then I would stitch it up. So it's really easy when the cups are not too full to just pick them out. Right. And right. that way you can handle these bigger uh, tray, you know, patterns with bigger colors. So you can do that. Now, in, in this kit that I did, I had included this little color map. Oh, so you can cut it out and lay it there. But, you know, you can make your own or if, or if you're, you know, you can just take a piece of paper and put it under there and write out whatever it is. Uh -huh. Color one, two, and three. So any way the beads are identified are ways that you can use it. And um, the only thing you have to be careful about is this magnet is pretty strong. Mm -hmm. So if you were to put another board on top of it, you can see it will immediately attach it to it. Yeah. And it's pretty hard to get it off. So just be careful with that. But Otherwise, you can take this and go into the kitchen, go in the bathroom, go in the bedroom, go wherever you want to go with it. And um, not that we all beat in the bathroom, but. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, that was my point of it. This is what I loved about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's easy to control, easy to use. You're not going to get any bead soup unless you want to. Mm -hmm. And that's. That's about, oh, and the cleanup. Yeah, we talked about the cleanup, which I think is paramount. Just pour it in the shovel, pour it back in your bag. Yes, and, and for those of you who are watching, it also pours back into your tubes really yes. good as well. Not just in the baggies, but in your tubes because I have been, like I said, using this for a few weeks and I love, yes, it goes right into the tube wonderfully. Yeah, so like a lot of the tubes, if they have little holes, you just hold the hole. Mm -hmm. But again, with the spoon, the reason I put the little spoon is because it does fit here oh. and you can put them there. And then to clean up, just pick it up. I don't cover the holes, but, and there we go. So, so much easier than monkeying around with just a mat. I like to still keep my mat underneath the work so that I can lay out the beads. Or like you said, you can lay out, uh, you know, a little bit from each cup. Mm -hmm. If you're only working with a small number, that's that's a pretty good way to go. So, absolutely, I love so, it. That I love is it. Our, that's our whole little kitten caboodle. I'll come back over here. Um. So then. Um, I guess too the the important thing to let people know is they can actually buy X so like with this little one it comes with does it just come with the five I can't remember yeah the little one comes with five yeah five so they can buy extra packages of cups correct yeah yeah the little one I did as a complete kit which, which cover comes with this um with the uh, the travel and go, uh -huh. the board, the five cups, and you can buy more cups. They come in sets of five. If you already have magnetic boards at home, you can just buy the cups. Um, so that's the traveler one. Then we have the, the one with a starter kit, which just has like 10 cups in the board and uh, then we have the Pro, which has 20 cups. And I think there's one other one, but it, it's, you can kind of build out whatever's best for you, whatever yeah, so you want. You really tried to think about the needs, um, not only the material needs of beaters, but also financial needs of beaters who might yeah. be on a tighter budget, but really like the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you have, you know, like I said, a magnetic board, if you don't need 20 cups, you don't have to get 20 cups. If you're mostly working smaller numbers, that's fine. If you, you want five, I think we had five, 10 and 20 different, 20 cups. Um, but I think the shovel, the spoon, the letters, the bag, 
they all become part of the different kits. And I wanted to do something special for any of your customers that wanted to get it. So we're gonna, whatever they would order, if they put the uh, coupon code Kelly, then we're gonna throw in some extra goodies for them, whatever. Oh, Yay! Amazing, <laughs> okay. So if they go to your website, do they use a coupon code Kelly or do they put Kelly in the comments or? I think Kelly in the comments where it says notes. Okay. Yeah, because the code is different, different. but uh, just put Kelly in the notes or comments or, and you know, we'll make sure you get some extra special goodies and um, you can start beating. Now, one thing I wanna say is we've been selling so many of these. Um, I'm on a second run of production, which is gonna be, uh, we still have some to sell. It's, it could be taking up to a couple of weeks to get orders out, depending how many, uh, at least in the beginning again, while we're waiting for the next shipment to come in. And the cups are all American made. Good. And yeah, those and the magnets are American made. And I think, well, this comes from a different company. Oh, and this, these bags are American made. So I tried wherever possible to get, you know, American made products. I love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I have to tell you, Glenda, you have came up with an amazing system that definitely helps me as well as beaters around the world because I think that if people get these in their hands they are really really going to enjoy this product yeah so. I think so that's I've had very good reviews from everybody and uh you know as I said most of the, most of the thing people just were asking do the cups have tops and I was uh that's I don't think it's necessary yeah, I think yeah. I think it would just be like weird, though. We are think we are going to be making some different size cups for like if you're using pearls and crystals. Um, I've got a lot of other things I'm working on in the future of this little system, but uh, we're very excited about it. And I'm so thankful for people that have bought it and took a chance on it. And especially you, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> Well, Kelly Dale of Off the Beaded Path loves this <laughs> system. So, and I don't say I love it unless I love it. Okay. I, and I personally, I use it. You can, I, if my husband was here, he would tell you, yes, she carries it back and forth every day. Um, <laughs> so I do love it. Now, um, we know that they can put Kelly in the notes and get some yeah. extra goodies, but can you tell us where we can find you on the www like let us know yes. where we can find you we are www.beadsgonewildstore.com okay and it's b e a d s correct b yes. gone wild store.com yes yes <clears throat> yeah. okay fantastic now do you have a facebook page or anything like that as well yes i have like four facebook pages <laughs> I have my, my Glenda Pounanen, I have Beads Gone Wild, we have Crystal Creations, and I do have a Bead Easy one, but um, I haven't posted a lot on there yet because as I said with this, until I get the production 100%, I'm, I've been keeping the sales a little low. Um, you know, I haven't been fully advertising it or anything yet. So you're gonna be pretty much the first to Yay. get the work done. Yay. I love it. I love it. Well, obviously word of mouth has already worked for you because like I said, I bought it from seeing a Facebook post. So Excellent. I'm Excellent. sure word of mouth is going to help you tremendously because this is amazing. Thank so you. Um, is there anything else that we should know about you, Glenda, or about the system or about your store? Well, we're here in West Palm Beach and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Been here forever. <laughs> <laughs> She's a staple in West Palm Beach. She's an icon. Go see her. <laughs> now, we're gonna we're gonna continue to be here. Um, I just love beating so much. I I just love teaching people. I love inspiring people, and I'm really 
about education. You know, which is why I loved your 650 some videos so much, because you're very strong in education, too. And I think that's really important. It's not just always about a pretty design or a new bracelet. It's if people want to learn the art of bead weaving, uh, you know, it's a tremendous medium. And I wish everybody who... Uh, Gives, I, you know, like I see people on Facebook and they want to do this, they want to do that. And I, I just try to beg with them, like, just get some education under your belt. <laughs> you know, just learn how to do peyote, learn how to do herringbone, learn how to do all these things. And then it all starts to come into place. So, uh, and I'm working now with, you know, I want to do little things like miniatures and embroidery miniature embroidery jewelry with beads. <laughs> I'm going in all different directions. Teeny tiny crochet with beads, tatting beads, you know. There's so many fun things to do that I just, I'm really thankful too that I get to do what I love and have fun doing it. Absolutely, and that is, um, I, I tell my husband and he laughs at me all the time because one of the main reasons I started my channel was because when I started, um, even beading, I was 18, 19 years old and we oh. did not have bead stores. The closest bead store we had from us was an hour away. Wow. And I'm sorry. At 19 years old, I still live with my parents at that age. <laughs> and my daddy was like, you're not driving an hour away by yourself. You know, <laughs> kind of one of those things. Helicopter yeah. parents, but they were the best. <laughs> So, um, I mean, there was not really a way and, you know, YouTube was just getting started and there was mm. no beaters on YouTube. So, um, you know, that is one of the things I always said, I want to be able to teach people who want to learn, um, mm -hmm. who may not can get out of their house or drive an hour somewhere to do something. And I always say, I'm the kindergarten teacher of beaters because yes. I want you to start out with me and then I want you to flourish. I mm -hmm. want I, so many people have like, I started watching you and I learned how to bead and, um, <clears throat> It's such an amazing thing to me that I get to do what I want to do and I love doing it. And I love teaching people the basics that then they can then build off of, like you said, like the basic herringbone, peyote, whatever. And uh, you know, a lot of my things are that more simpler stitch, that simpler step, just because I want you to learn and then I want you to build and thrive. And so I always try to send people like, hey, if you enjoy, um, you know, crawl, check out Marsha DeCosta or check out uh -huh. like Sabine um, and some of oh, these yeah. other people who are amazing at that. And if you want to do, you know, some different things, that's why I always try to push people to different designers because I mean, man, there is so much out there. If you want to learn, it's, it's yeah. mind blowing. It's you can, you could just do nothing but beat all day and still not get it all done. <laughs> no, no. But I, the, I think that's the thing I always tell people too, is they're, they're like, oh, I'm not creative. I'm not creative. I said, you know, if you just practice and learn the basics, mm -hmm. you will become creative. There's no way your mind will not let you start creating. Once you start working and playing in the beads, your mind will say at some point, oh, I wonder what would happen if I do this or wonder what would happen if I do that. And what you need to do is stop and do it you yep. know and that's that's how I create all the things that I do I'm because my mind I'll be like well I wonder what would happen if I put something something here I'm like Ugh. all right now I gotta try it <laughs> because well, and that's that. your creativity speaking and you need to listen to it um but I think there's people have seen that they're way more creative than they think they can be and I, I think you've done a tremendous job so I again want to applaud you 235,000 subscribers. That is like, holy cow. <laughs> hey, I, 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 one, I just subscribed. So I 2000. Know. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I just, um, 
it's it's a blessing to get to do what I, I do. And I feel the same way as you do. You know, we are so lucky to get to do what we uh, what we love to do, but we could not do it without all the people who watch our YouTube videos or yeah, who yeah. come into our stores. And for those people, we are eternally grateful. Yeah. So, yep. Um, yep. so yes. So um, Glenda, thank you so much. Yes. This has been just the most refreshing time learning about your system and learning about you and just getting to sit and chat with another beater who, who, who knows about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Kelly. I'm so glad you enjoy the product. It's, it means a lot to me. It really does. Absolutely. And thanks for reaching out to me. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really honored that you Thank you. Thank you. And guys, remember beads gone wild store.com. If you buy one of these awesome systems, put Kelly in the notes and she's going to send you some extra fun little goodies. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, thank you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this conversation with Glenda as much as I did. Make sure to hit her up on her website and on her social medias and show her some love. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to come back next week as we do our retro redo for March 2022, which is the Meridian Earrings. I look forward to seeing you then. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.